Hello year two. So this morning we're going to be carrying on learning a bit about sweet potato. I know that I read the story to my class on Monday and Mrs Lee read it to serious class and we're going to be thinking about putting the story in the right order today so you can see that's what we're going to be doing sequencing a story which just means putting it in order. So we're going to put the events in the story in order then we're going to have a go at retelling the story not just reading what it says but telling it in our own words and we're going to see if we can make it sound a little bit more interesting. I think secretly we could do a better job than the real author. So let's find out what we're going to be doing. OK, so maybe you're thinking that Miss O'Dwyer listening to the story on Monday was a long time ago. So if you want to listen to the story again, if you click on the link, ask a grown up if you can click on the link um, on the slide that you can see that should take you to a video of somebody reading the story and you'll be able to see all the pictures again it's really important that you listen really carefully to the story and make sure you look at the pictures to try and remember what's happening remember we're going to have a go at telling the story in the right order we can't go back and add bits in okay so now that you've listened to the story again uh, you should have a really good idea of what order everything happens in the story so did cucumber get wrapped up in toilet roll or was that first or was it the basket being trapped under the basket you will know by now you'll know better than me so once you've done that you should have been sent a file that's got some pictures from the story in but when i made when i got all the pictures and made it unfortunately all the pictures are in the wrong order so what you need to do is you're going to need some scissors and some glue and you'll need to cut the pictures out and then you'll need to stick them on another sheet of paper but in the right order if you don't have any scissors or glue at home though don't panic what you could do instead is you can put some numbers next to the picture so the picture that's first in the story you could write a number one next to it then a number two next to what's second number three number four all the way up to number eight which will be the last picture OK, so once you've got them in the right order, you will need to watch the next slide to find out what you're going to do then. If you're having a bit of trouble remembering, remember, you can always go back to the last slide and watch the video again to remind yourself, did that happen first or did that happen first? Once you're happy with the order of the pictures, go on to the slide to find out what we're going to do now. So by now, you should have all the pictures in the right order, having used the video to help you. So it doesn't matter whether you've cut them out and stuck them on or whether you've written numbers next to them. You're going to know which story, the order of the story. So what we're going to do now is we are going to write one sentence, just one, one sentence about each picture. So remember, what do we need to include? We need to have some capital letters. We need to have some finger spaces. It can't all just be one long word, otherwise no one's going to be able to read your story. And we need to have some full stops at the end of the sentence. Remember, full stops don't just go at the end of the line, they go at the end of the sentence. And once we've put a full stop, the next word needs to start with a capital letter. We've done lots of practice of this in year two, so hopefully you're an expert by now. So I want you to have a think before you go on to the next slide. What sentence could you write about the first picture? What's happening? What sentence could you write about the second picture? So have a look over your picture in the right order and think what could you write? OK, so once you've got an idea for each picture, before you write it, I want you to think about where are your big year twos now? We've got lots of amazing words in our brains. What could we do to make our writing even better? Because like I said at the beginning, I think we could do a better job than the author. So what you could think about is instead of having lots of short sentences, you could start to think of using some conjunctions, words like and, words like but, words like so and because. So I'm thinking like at the beginning of the story, we could say it was quiet in the supermarket, but something was about to go wrong. It was quiet in the supermarket because it was night time. So you could think about how to make your sentences a bit longer. You could also think about using some really exciting words and phrases from the story. Some of my favourites, which I talked about with my class, were saying the vegetables were not just upset, they were in distress. Or we could talk about super potato superpowers. 
you might even have some better ideas than the author you might have got some words of your own to show how amazing sweet potato is or how horrible the evil pea is or we could talk about people being villainous we could talk about sweet potato being brave oh adventurous i'm sure you've got loads more ideas than i have and so you could think about how could you use those in one in your sentences about the pictures so I think it's time to get cracking. It's time to have a go at some writing. So if you get stuck, you can talk to me on Teams in a little chat. Or if you're at school watching this, you can ask an adult that's there. And when you've done your writing, you can send me some pictures on Teams. I'll be there. Mrs. Lee will have a look at them later as well. Um, if you aren't sure what to do you can have a go you can watch all of this again and see if you get any more ideas you can listen to the story again or you can ask for help on the chat but i'm ready to read some amazing writing i can't wait to read them see you later guys <laughs>